across the animal kingdom, behavior is synchronized over multiple time scales. We have examples of corals which spawn yearly, bioluminescent fireworms which have a monthly mating cycle. Humans have a circadian rhythm which is daily and we share it with many other species. And if we record electrical activity in the brain, we can see rhythmic oscillatory activity in different range of frequencies. One such example of a rhythmic oscillatory activity in the brain is of the 5 to 12 hertz theta oscillations, which can be recorded in the hippocampus. These oscillations are accompanied by a beautiful coupling of behavior of the animal with the activity of ensembles of pyramidal cells. Pyramidal cells are the most numerous neuronal cell type of the hippocampus and their activity is thought to be crucial for the encoding and retrieval of episodic memories, such that of a place during spatial exploration. But these pyramidal cells are not alone in the hippocampus. Their precisely timed activity is thought to be coordinated by diverse populations of GABAergic interneurons, which innervate distinct subcellular compartments of pyramidal cells some innovating the dendritic region, some innovating the cell bodies, and some at the site of action potential generation, the axon initial segment. This beautiful anatomical segregation is also accompanied by a segregation in the timing of GABAergic input with distinct cell types preferring distinct phases of the theta oscillatory cycle. The median septum is thought to be a major coordinator of hippocampal theta oscillations. Inactivation or loss of the medial septal formation results in a complete loss or ablation of theta oscillatory activity in the hippocampus and this is accompanied by a loss in formation of new memories. We asked the following three questions in our studies. First, what is the diversity of activity patterns of simultaneously recorded medial septal neurons? Do single medial septal neurons innervate distinct regions of the temporal cortex like the CA1, CA2, CA3, dentate, gyrus or extra hippocampal cortices or single medial septal neurons innervate the entire cortical mantle? And third, whether in their target regions, single medial septal neurons innervate distinct subpopulations of hippocampal GABAergic neurons such that they face the firing of their synaptic partners. So, to address these questions, we trained mice to navigate on a virtual linear maze, at the end of which they received a sucrose reward. During this task, we sampled activity of neurons in the medial septum and observed diverse patterns of neuronal firing. <laughs> to identify these differences in the burst duration of medial septal neurons, we trained our ear to identify the uh, sound of the spiking of these neurons. So we converted the spikes of the neurons into sound and trained our ear to identify the differences between the short and the long burst duration. It became quite evident across trials that the short burst duration neurons had a sharp vocalization and the long burst duration neurons sounded soft or flat. And this is what gives them their names, which are inspired from Hindustani classical music. Thivra means the sharp vocalization of the short burst duration neurons, while coma is the soft vocalization of the long burst duration neurons. We have found that Thivra cells are GABAergic and preferentially innervate the CA3 region of the hippocampus. Here, they show a remarkable cell type selectivity and preferentially target axoxonic cells and CCK immunopositive interneurons. I was absolutely amazed when Abhilasha discovered that uh, the T-Rex or selectively targets uh, exo-exotic cells. Uh, for several decades, it uh, bothered me, why should the CA3 region of the hippocampus have so many exo-exotic cell synapses on the axon initial segments of pyramidal cells? The significance of this is that it is the initial segment that generates the propagated action potential, which then is transferred to all the targets of the CA3 uh, pyramidal cells. Then raises the question of what controls the uh, activity of exoxonic cells, or for that matter, any other GABAergic neuron in cortex. And this is where the uh, astonishing selectivity that Abilasha discovered comes in that the extraxonic cells 
have a private government input from the uh, media septum, at least um, uh, as she showed in the uh, mouse. We identified Tira cells as a cell type as they share the same activity patterns, molecular marker combination, and synaptic target preferences. This is um, bringing us to the possible contribution of uh, Tira cells to the dynamics of cell in the septal hippocampal circuit. The spiking activity of Tira nodes increases towards the trough of the oscillations recorded in the hippocampal C1 pyramidal layer. And what's very interesting is Tira cells analytically target C3 axoaxonic cells and CCK expressing interneurons, which are least active towards the Tira trough. So maybe this sample activity of Tira neurons allows C3 principal cells to increase their activity in the descending phase of Tira and thereby provide the largest glutamatergic input to C1 principal cells which are maximally active at the Tetra. Based on these observations, we hypothesize that Tira neurons provide coordination of neuronal activity across the septotemporal axis of the hippocampus based on a disinhibition of pyramidal cells via their target interneurons, the axoaxonic cells and CCK basket cells.